I'm not going to forget about you. Sometimes when I'm feeding them breakfast and I take too long, Marbles makes that noise because he's like, Hello, don't forget. I want food. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. Let me just get your brother's medicine. But you're going to say hello. You turn your head, say hello over there. That's fine. It's okay. Hi there. Here I am outside of my kitchen and not live on stream. Just a regular old video. And I wanted to uh, give you guys, I guess, an update and sort of just like a, a little play date with the dogs. You haven't really seen a whole bunch of them lately. Uh, they don't really come into my cooking videos because they just wreak havoc and eat everything. And since I get to spend all day every day with these guys, I figured I would give you some of them too. Because a lot of you have been asking, a lot of you have been saying, can we please see a dog video? Can we get an update on the dogs? How are they? And so here we are. So first of all, all of the dogs are doing great. They're all healthy and happy and happy. This is, uh, this is Bunny's spot. Uh, we're in my stream room right now, so look over there, it's my desk. So she sits behind me uh, while I stream, oftentimes on that couch and sometimes on the floor right here. And this is kind of like where she likes to be uh, while I'm streaming. Uh, that is unless she has rain over the living room in which she wants to go watch Seinfeld by herself. But she is doing so well. She has improved like insane amounts, even since the last time you guys have seen her in a video. She's just, she's getting more and more confident and comfortable and like it happens every single day. Little things happen and um, she's just becoming such a great, amazing, confident doggy. She still has, you know, little things that, that'll get to her in terms of like spooking her or scaring her, which I get and it's completely understandable because we still don't even really know like where she got these fears from. But we recently took a road trip up to the mountains. It's about a two hour drive and she did so well. She sat in the car, did so well. She used to do this thing where every time we were driving on the highway, anytime she would see a truck, she would just jump over the back seat from the trunk into the back seat because she was so scared. And she didn't do that this whole trip. It was two hours both ways and she handled it amazingly and I'm so proud of her. But little things like that, we've been taking her out for walks a lot, you know, she gets front yard and backyard time. She's getting on really well with the others. Um, as you saw, she likes bedtime. Uh, we give her bedtime in the morning and at night we invite her up onto our bed so that she can hang out with us and be close to us and cuddle us. Um, and then when we're like, okay, it's time to go, she jumps right off and goes back into her bed. Gotta brush you, girl. Gotta brush you. Look at all this fur. I would say she loves quarantine, you know, like the other dogs do, because, you know, I'm sure if you have a pet, you're thinking the same thing, that they are just like in heaven with quarantine because they get all of you and all of your time to themselves. I would say that she does probably miss some of our friends. Bunny is like so loving of people that um, some of our friends who we had kind of regularly would come over or she would see, I think she does miss them. But overall, she's happy. Like she's she's just a really good girl. You're a good girl. You're a very good girl, aren't you? You could, if you met Bunny and she was just standing there, you could stand here and pet her for like an hour. She wouldn't move. If you start petting her, she just doesn't move. Is that right? You like pets? You have anything you want to say? Okay. <laughs> All right, Peach. What do you got for us? Speak to us. Okay, so Peach probably has the most to update you on since you last saw her, right? She took a trip to the hospital, which was not fun. I did talk about it on uh, stream when it happened, uh, but basically she ate something that we still don't really know what it was 
that triggered a super intense uh, and acute bout of gastroenteritis, which basically means her digestive system was really going through it. Uh, and it was really bad. It was like a really gnarly thing that happened. And uh, it got to a point where um, we got a call from the, you know, the ER vet and they told us that she was in critical care and like it came out of nowhere because we literally just dropped her off because she was exhibiting symptoms of like a doggy not feeling well. We didn't know it was that serious, um, but she recovered. She's a complete fighter and amazing and strong and she got through it. And um, you know now we, we're Hawkeye on her and she's on uh, prescription ID food, like low fat doggy food. And it was, uh, it was sort of just like a, we got away with it but now we really have to watch her. And if it were up to her, she would go back to the hospital every week because she loves finding things to eat and putting them in her mouth that aren't for her. Isn't that right? <laughs> but she's doing really well. She's just a bundle of joy as she always is. She's so wonderful and sweet and happy. Um, I will say her and Bunny are best friends. Peach and Bunny love each other so much. Um, and it is so cute to see. The girls, they hang out together, they sniff each other as soon as they like see each other from walking into a room, they kiss each other. Sometimes Peach will lay near her. We try to keep them at least a decent amount separate when Bunny's laying down, um, cause she likes her space, but I, I gotta go find them now. I don't know why she left me. All right, it's your turn. Give us an update. What have you been doing? How are you dealing with quarantine? All right, everybody say hi, marbles. All right, you say hi. All right, well, marbles is doing well. He had a pretty vicious fight with himself in the mirror that we bought yesterday. So I think he's kind of still on the tail end of recovering from that. But other, other than that, he's, he's a happy boy. He and Bunny are getting along well. I mean, listen, they're not best friends, but they respect each other's space for the most part. Sometimes Bunny doesn't really understand that she's huge and will walk through people and dogs and things and will sometimes like step on marbles. So he obviously doesn't like that. But that's only when she's, you know, really, really kind of aloof and not paying attention and maybe a little scared. Other than that, like 90% of the time, they are so good about respecting space. And it's weird though, because if like, if, if I have Kermit and Peach and I go back into like the living room to see where Marbles and Bunny are, they like lay on the couch near each other. It makes, it makes me nervous, but I don't, I don't know why they do it, but yeah, I think little peanut brain here sometimes just doesn't really understand that that might be a little bit ill-advised. She's a greyhound. The handsome boy's doing well. He's chilling. I mean, there's really no big update with him. He's a happy, happy boy. <laughs> he's just, he's doing well, so. Good, anything, anything you want to say before you go? Making CD-ROM sounds. <laughs> Well, there he is. There's only one dog left. I forget which, which one it is. What was his name again? Do you guys remember? Uh, Bunny, is it cool if we borrow this for a little bit? We're just a filming. Yeah, we're not actually gonna sleep in here. All right, say hello, Kermit. Uh, yeah, I don't actually know why Bunny's crate is in here. This is the crate we leave her in when we go run errands and leave the house. Uh, we brought it in here so she could be near the others when we were gone. All right, Mr. Nasty Boy. All right, so you know how I said all the other dogs are happy and healthy and... Well, Kermit's been going to the vet like every week. <laughs> he went to the vet before Peach had her thing because he had back problems. So we had to get that looked at and addressed. Then he went to the vet because he stepped on a bee. Uh, a second bee, not the one that I told you about on the podcast a while ago. Then he went to the vet because he had a nasty toenail thing that we had to get 
remedied. Basically, if there's a day of the week that doesn't have some sort of stressful event, he'll volunteer himself to be that stressful event and say, can we go to the vet now? He He's doing well. As you can tell, he's... He's living his damn life. He's, he's so nasty. He's so nasty. He's equally as nasty as you remember. Um, like I said, though, I mean, sometimes I'll have the, the Iggy's together on, on in their little bed and it'll be on dog cam on stream and stuff. But um, it's funny. The way I'm updating you, I feel like I'm like FaceTiming a family member. I'm like, yeah, we're doing good. Yeah, yeah dogs are good. But he is good. He's, he's a happy boy. Are you going to sleep? That's okay. I don't know exactly what you were looking for when you asked for a dog vlog, but I hope that this shot is is fulfilling what you had wanted. But Kermit, you have anything to say? <laughs> Why do you look like that? Oh, why do you look like that? All right, Kerm, you can go. You don't have to stay. You can bounce. I um, I didn't want to make this into kind of like a whole production. I really just kind of wanted to straight up update you and show you the dogs. Cause I feel like you guys miss them and you, if you want to see them, you, you should be able to see them. I am definitely keen on doing videos that are outside of my kitchen uh, moving forward. You know, I know a lot, a lot of people have asked me like that question of if I'm done making not cooking videos. And the answer is no, like I'm not done. Um, I just kind of like was in a groove for a while and I, I still am the last video I feel like I really got to like spread my wings on was my pad Thai video because uh, I was able to Go somewhere and right now I'm not going a lot of places And so that's kind of like one of the main reasons why I've found Making cooking content regularly is working for me But I will do my best at trying to break up the monotony and make videos like this or even tiny little trips or whatever but I do appreciate you tuning in. And, you know, listen, like, if you miss hanging out with me, I know I talk about it a lot. And if the stream is not your thing, that's fine. But I have been posting content to um, sort of a side channel, I guess. it's um, It initially was like a gaming highlights channel. Uh, and that's primarily what it is, is it's like highlights uh, from stream and different games that I play. But uh, I also have some plans on doing sort of like mini vlogs kind of like leftover clips that don't make it onto my channel that will go there. So if you want more of that, I'll link that channel below. It's called Julian2. If you want less of me, then just go up, scroll the mouse to the top of the window and click that X. Uh, but I hope all of you are doing well. And uh, thank you for tuning in. I don't know. I hope, I hope you got some enjoyment out of watching the dogs and listening to me talk about not a whole lot of changes with them. <laughs> They're all pretty much the same. But um, they say hi. So... I guess I'll see you when I see you, either in another video or on stream or whatever. Hope you have a great day. Okay, bye.